Well, fantastic. Well, thank you to the, the Lakeland crew and for having us here this evening. Uh, my name is Spencer Igo, and I'm running for re-election for House District 7A. Uh, it has been an absolute privilege to serve as the people's representative down in St. Paul uh, since 2020. So this is the end of my second term. Um, in that time, uh, I've had the opportunity now to become a member of uh, the leadership in the House Republican Caucus. I serve as assistant minority leader. I also have the distinct privilege as being chair of the IRRRB board, so working on economic development inside the Iron Range and the, uh, the Taconite Relief Area. So it's been an absolute privilege serving on that board and working with our communities to bring economic development. Uh, since being elected to serve in St. Paul, the issues I've been working on are the issues that I hear uh, when I go door to door and I hear from our neighbors. Uh, those issues are rising costs. Those issues are, are energy prices. Those issues are environment. Working on making sure we can have permitting reform, housing, childcare. These are the issues of our district and House District 7A, and those are things I've went to work working on. Uh, since being elected and working in St. Paul, I've kind of uh, developed myself as being a leader on energy issues. So some of those issues I've been working on is bringing an end to the nuclear energy moratorium so we can diversify our energy grid, so we can provide good, stable jobs for people in northern Minnesota and have an energy grid so we don't have risks of, of brownouts and blackouts and can keep energy affordable. I've also been working on environmental issues. I was a co-sponsor of the Chamber's Permitting and Regulation Reform Bill that passed this year. A huge issue for us here in northern Minnesota and on the Iron Range because we need to have a permitting system and regulation system that works so that when projects like the Huber Woods project that came to, to Itasca County isn't pushed away because of, of permitting and regulation regards. Um, I've also been trying to do a lot of work on bridging the political divide. You know, one of the projects that I'm really proud of getting done the last couple of years was receiving money um, to start working in the engineering to finish the two lane 169 expressway um, in Itasca County. Uh, the story behind getting that funding didn't come from anything else but building political relationships. You know, the chair of transportation and I had worked together and he asked me on the day the bill was passing, he said, Spencer, is this bill an important issue to the people of Northern Minnesota? I said, it really is, can, can we get it in? So don't worry about it, we'll take care of it. And I was like, but what, what for? Like, is there any begging and pleading? Do we have to make a deal? He said, no, you're working together with the people of this chamber and you're showing compromise. We need more people like you. And our district benefited from that. So it's a model that works and it's something I've really been trying to do. A line I like to say is that we live in this era of partnerships. Right, and it's especially prevalent in District 7A where we have about half of Minnesota's iron range. You know, we had uh, communities of Hibbing versus Grand Rapids, Coleraine versus the others. But we're proving that by working together, we can get things done. And if we don't work together, we're going to fail alone. So I'm asking once again for your vote to continue being your representative so we can work to make our community stronger, lift everybody up, and together we really will make the lives better for all. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you to Lakeland, our uh, moderator and our, and our panelists. Hello, everyone. My name is Aaron Schnauzer, and I'm the DFL endorsed candidate for the Minnesota House District 7A. I live in with my husband in a rural part of our district, Balsam Township. I'm a science teacher at Greenway High School. I've been teaching for over thir 13 years and I'm at my 10th year at Greenway. I chose to run because as a member of the LGBTQ community, I feel underrepresented. I want, I want to make sure everyone feels represented, not just by political ideologies. My goal as a, a legislator is to bring a voice to those who feel they don't have one. To achieve this goal, my background in science will help me make effective decisions based on evidence and data while avoiding false or misleading information. I support mining and I want to use that ore remine to process and process it right here instead of shipping it elsewhere. We can then use that ore to uh, build the infrastructure we need for a green economy, like building wind turbines, solar panels, and iron air batteries. This will bring more good paying union jobs to our region, which are, uh, which are vital for a healthy economy. We need to fully fund our schools so they are less reliant on highly regressive property taxes that hurt working people and their families the most. The quality of education a student receives should not depend on zip code. We need to more local government aid so they can provide the services we need, like affordable housing, transportation, healthcare, and good roads. 
Finally, we need to protect everyone from bigotry and discrimination, regardless of political party, and especially marginalized communities. Make sure individual freedoms, like our access to voting, reproductive freedom, and gender-affirming care are protected. These measures will help us build stronger communities and will allow more people to participate in a th our thriving economy. Thank you.